Howdy everybody, out drilling this evening. I know there's nobody watching right now, but there will be eventually. There is somebody watching already. I'm turning around here at the end. Oh, I got a comment once I get turned around. Hey, how's it going, Tyson? Hey, uh, 4250. Just out drilling. Quit, uh, quit earlier. I got moved down here and I started, uh, went to my son's t ball game. Thanks, Corey. This, uh, this field here is going to a forage sorghum that, uh, the guy that I'm drilling it for is gonna windrow it and he lets it lay every year for his cows so he grazes his cows on windrows all winter in this field. Not all winter, but some of the winter anyhow. Should have been done with this field, but uh, but uh, yesterday when I was cutting some hay, I realized I had a hydraulic leak. Hey Chuck, had a hydraulic leak under my cab on my tractor and it wasn't purdy. It was uh, one of them. I had it fixed and then I started putting it back together and tried it and uh, come to find out uh, there was actually two leaks and I fixed the one leak but there was one lower than that so then I had to actually lift the cab up about five inches to get to the second leak that I found it was fun I was uh, pretty oily and pretty crabby so I didn't make a video and it was at night when I got to that Yeah, I wish we were wet right now. Um, planting in the dry dirt isn't very fun. I've got, uh, I've been drilling and I haven't made any videos of it because uh, planting in the dry dirt and praying for rain, I guess, I don't know. I, a little disheartening, I guess. This field's actually got, I'm actually getting the seed to moisture, but most of them are pretty dry. I'm from uh, South Central, I'm around Winter, Winter Clome area. No, soybean farmer, the LED lights are, are they actually are on. They're shining off my drill, but there is the sun behind me still. I thought I better do a live stream before it got dark. I didn't know what it would look like after dark. Do you remember who you cut wheat for, Corey? Coming to the end, I'm gonna set you guys down in my holder again. I really like the earpiece. It works really good for me. Um, what time is it here? I, I don't even remember. I'm on Central Time Soybean Farmer, so I'm not sure what time it is there. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. We haven't got any rain for almost a month. I don't know any I don't remember I don't know any retired rodeo clowns. Um yeah, I don't I don't even have a clock in here. I can't even tell you what time it is. I'm gonna plug my clock. It's been a while then, 1990. I was, I was uh, only two years old then. This is a forage sorghum that we're drilling here, no-tilling. I sure wish you could no-till soybean farmer. It saves a lot of work. See that drill going through the ground back there. This ground's pretty 
hard. I don't even know if I could shove a screwdriver in it right now. It's running as much down pressure as my as my drill produced about a uh, thousand pounds. I wish I had a coffee maker in here. Thought about mounting one over, well, over right there where my radio's at, but I never did it. Got my Red Bull. Hey, Versatile, how are you doing? How's the weather up there? But, been awful busy here. I cut some hay yesterday. Um, I got some things going on this weekend, so I won't be farming this weekend. I'm just gonna work, and then Saturday and Sunday I'm gonna take off and do something else for a while. Um, some family stuff. Turn it around. I'm gonna try to do it actually on the phone. Pretty much jackknife this, turn over 90 degrees with this two-point hitch. A lot harder than the guy would think turning around with one hand. Anybody got any questions? We haven't got any rain for a while. I kind of that's why I haven't been feeling like making any videos. I need to go out and do some uh, some videos on the corn that I showed on my earlier videos with the no-till and the conventional tillage, just turbo till. Um, all of my no-till corn is fine I didn't have to replant any except where the water holes were at but I actually spent uh, a couple days replanting spots in the fields of the conventional till till um, farmer Tate what do you mean how could you get into using one um, you have to just go go buy one and use it or is there something else I'm missing in your question Um, this drill I actually bought um, from Arkansas, sight unseen, around here, which I'm sure you know that they're a lot of money. This drill around here would have cost me about 45 k I spent uh, 25000 on this drill and I put the grass seeder on the front, so I got about 30000 into it. And that was shipped to my front door and the owner actually delivered it himself. I don't know. I think all the GPSs are pretty good. Um, they, uh, they, uh, they're all about the same. It just depends on what you like. Um, and then a, a smaller tractor will handle it. Um, it just depends on how big a hills you have, and you want a two-point hitch. You know, you notice the old. The, some of them have dolly wheels there, and if you have a small tractor with a dolly wheel, that dolly wheel will sink in the mud and you'll get stuck. So that's why I like two-point hitches, but then I always run duels with it. That way I float a lot better because I got a lot of, about 7,000 pounds of tongue weight on my two-point. I need a day off. I've been waiting for a rain day and it's not happening. So I'm just, I got some other things I want to do and I'm going to just decide I'm just going to do it. Turn around here again. Next time I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. So you just see my face. What do you think of that video, Corey? Uh, Newport, Arkansas is where I got mine from. You can look them up. Uh, I can't remember the dealer's name, but the, they are really nice to work with. They're kind of straightforward shooters, and they had cheaper drills. It's just I wanted a nice one. Let's see if I can get that sunset. That's pretty good sunset. There's a good sunset for y'all. show you guys around it's not all flat here pretty good size hill behind me
yeah the drill's a, a 20 foot it's actually two uh two 10 foots put together they just got a different frame um that hogger on the back i wasn't going to use it for loading this stuff with 50 pound bags but that worked really good um cory i farm I'll, I'll plant probably uh in between custom farming and doing my own, I'll end up planting 25 to 3,000 acres total. And my brother mainly takes care of the cattle and my dad does whatever, but I do most of the farming myself. I'm the farm brother family. My dad says the equipment's too big for him to see the end of it anymore. know what time it is here I don't even pay attention to the time anymore I don't see I'll look at my satellite radio it'll tell me what time it is just give me a second Nine twenty-one. that's what time it is thanks Tyson you can be my clock I should have just asked you yeah, I'm running tremble. It works pretty good. On um, this field, I set up a, a headland and it, I went around it four times and I started going back and forth in a straight line. Mr. Clock, man, that's pretty good. All right, well, we're coming up to the end here. We gotta get turned around, so. I might be jerking the camera around. Uh, no, it actually dries with this motor. There's a motor back behind. This one's the Easy Pilot. Um, I have the one with the wheel up on the up here on my sprayer. And they both work pretty good. I don't think so. Someone shot a congressman here yesterday. I think or tried to. Um. On this tractor, it actually has the right, uh, the right uh, pump on it. The newer Magnums have the right pump that it doesn't, the constant down pressure don't bother. You can see I got my, my lever locked forward right there. Um, the older Internationals had a problem, but once Case I, Case I H merge, they run a, a variable pump like the John Deere's do. Yeah, that was the first one I used too, the one that was in my sprayer. I, uh, I'm gonna turn this back around so you can see my ugly mug. The first the auto steer I ever used was in my sprayer and I moved it back and forth from my tractor to my sprayer. And I was spraying and planting at the same time, so I always was moving it back and forth and that's why I broke down and bought another one because I decided I couldn't drive anymore. And I'm glad I did. It's, it's a lot easier to do a lot, a lot of hours, spend a lot of hours in the field. Hey, two happy children farm. Uh, what time is it where you're at? Yeah, same, same here. It's 9:24 here also. Now I'm gonna get, take it out and give you guys a walk around here. the down pressure but I'm running for down pressure right now you can see all the trash on the ground from last year's cane they had on here but it seems to be doing a good job it's hard to find the seeds I gotta be careful because there's sandburrs here but they're little dinky seeds. I don't know if I'll be able to see them on camera or not. Yeah, I don't think so. 
there's one, but you guys can't see it. Everything seems to be working good. Gotta be careful with these drills if you get one to uh, not raise, put too much down pressure on because you can actually raise the back of the tires off the ground. Hey Brad, how are you? Should get a foot pedal switch for my autos too, that'd be pretty handy. But yeah, hopefully I can get, I'm hoping intending tomorrow I'm gonna get uh, Yeah, the little skinny tire in the middle, that's the drive wheel. On the on the 20 footers they run a they, they run that drive wheel and on the 15 footers they uh, run it off one of the carriage carrying wheels. Yeah, there there are some big fields up here. Um, the biggest one I farm myself is around 90 acres, but I do some custom stuff on one that's 120. And uh, and the only reason our fields aren't bigger is because we uh, turn it around again. We uh, we do strips for soybeans and corn, soybeans and corn, roughly three acres of, or three fields a quarter is what I kind of shoot for. Um, biggest field I've ever bailed, I used to do custom hay when I first graduated a lot. I was on a straw field that was uh, 800 acres. That was a, that was a good time. I'm out there with four or five other balers and, uh, and also about, I think they had about six or seven combines. No, no uh, ground in this area has got tile in it. You got to go east of the uh, Missouri River to get tiled ground. Today I'm planting uh, um, a forward sorghum. It's a uh, we call it cane, I guess, or hay grazer, and this will be windrowed. Windrowed off in the fall, it'll be roughly 10 foot tall if we get rain, and uh, the cows will just graze it. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'd get tired in, in an 800 acre field. I know that Balin deal, that was pretty fun, but that was a lot of stuff going on there to watch. I think with my 20 foot drill, it might take me a day or two to drill 800 acres. It's probably very similar, ties into what Sours plants. I'm not sure um, if it's exactly the same. There's lots of different kinds. There's sorghum sedan, there's sorghum, there's straight sedan. I'm not sure, but it's all pretty much the same, same stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll graze our um, radishes and stuff. I ended up on the rye that I that I hayed. I ended up planting that um, two or three days ago, I think, to millet. Um, I'm hoping to take the millet off and I'll plant my cover crop in it later. It's too early for the, it's too early for the, for the radishes and turnips right now to just start shooting seed heads on them. Uh, but the cow, cattle love the radishes and turnips last year in our cover crop. You can go back and look at some videos if you guys want to on my uh, cover crop but the cows were out there. Uh, we used to grow sunflowers but we we uh, quit growing sunflowers because we started our combine on fire um, four times in one year and we said that was enough of that. So we quit doing that turn it around again. I'll custom plant around 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000, or plant between my own and some custom work. I'll 
end up custom combining along with my neighbor about 4,000 acres total. That's too bad about get, getting struck by lightning. That would not be good. Yeah, I seen I seen on a comment on your video, soybean farmer, that your drill was having a rough time. Is there a chance you could wait for a rain, or did you, you did already rain since your video? Yeah, we we no-till everything. I'm 100% no-till on our farm. Some of the custom stuff I do is not no-tilled. A lot easier on my planter, but but I, I like no-till. I, I don't have any experience with yellow peas yet. I want to try some peas and peas and stuff like that in some of my haying crop, but I just haven't have never done it yet. Um, soybean farmer, did you uh, see that I replied to you on your uh, on your message that you sent me? You know, if you didn't, you should check that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm only about an hour away from Platt. No, oh pier, that's his pier. I sure like this drill. This drill does a good job. I'm not sure what the temperature is right now. I, I got my hoodie on just because I got my air conditioner cranked and I don't like turning it down. I know no problem, Corey. I know there's a lot of people out there that are that are uh, well, we're not even going to say what they are, but they're not nice people sometimes. Simple question sometimes. Can't get answered without someone being an asswipe about it. Turn it around again. This field must not be a half mile long. Well, I know it's not a half mile long. Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, got to keep it PG though. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, he was referring to, he asked a question on how to reply with someone's name in there, Brad. And uh, I told him nicely without being a, a bad word about it. You know what, you guys, some of you guys don't have uh, good enough video to do uh, live streams. I'll show you why I have pretty good reason video here. I'll show you the cell phone tower. See the little flashing light right over there? That's the cell phone tower. I'm within a half mile of it. Right at the moment. Should have washed my windows off. You guys will be impressed. I clean vacuumed my tractor out since I had to take my cab off last night. I had all my floor out, so I cleaned it out good. Here the other day I couldn't see my floor, but I guess it'll stay clean for now. I'm not all into keeping my tractor spotless, I guess. I'm too busy driving them. Not don't have enough time to wax them. I know there's a, I seen some, I can't even remember who it was, but they were really being jack wagons the other night on Instagram. About felt like not even having Instagram or Facebook after how some people treat other people. It's unreal. And he kicks square between the legs, some of them I think. And most of them will probably live in their mother's basements. Unfortunately, they actually aren't in the real world like the rest of us.
Yeah, I've done uh, Soybeans is roughly, I, I want to say it's any time. I think it might be now. Um, or maybe just, I think it's, I want to say it's the 15th. So it might even be today. Um, I had all my soybeans planted here a while back now. You can plant them later, they just might not do very good. We got a pretty short growing season. It's a uh, 1560 no-till drill. It's nine something, 936. I don't know if I'll ever do a, any equipment walk around. Sometimes I feel like they turn into more of a bragging session or whatever than someone actually just showing what they got. So I don't know if I'll ever do one of those or not. Um, I'll show the equipment I'm using, but I don't know if I'm going to go out and show everything at once. I just feel like sometimes that's just asking for people to get snotty and whatnot. Uh, no, we didn't get any tornadoes here. There were some just to the east of us, probably 45 miles or so. I think, Tyson, I think we're the same for the insurance, the insurance cutoff date. You can plant. You can plant uh, them longer. You just lose a percent a day for 20 days. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I think it looks awful cool when you're cutting through a lot of residue. Yeah, so far I've had a pretty good time making these videos. I haven't made any the last few days just because I just haven't had the time. And I think it's a 2001. I turned my my light. Or my brightness on my screen blinded me. No lights. One thing I'll probably always do with my first, my tractor when I buy another one, I will buy and put LED lights on them before I probably ever go to the field. That is one thing that I wish I would have done a long time ago. These things are, I need to get, I, I want to get a drone video of, my dad has a, a Magnum similar to this one, just a little older and it has the stock lights on it yet. I'm gonna take a drone video of, uh, I'm gonna take a drone video of that at night, and I'm gonna have his tractor lights compared to these tractor lights, and it's unreal. That auger is the best thing since sliced bread. That's another thing I think that it should be against the law not to put one on a drill. Uh, Massey, the, I'm going to turn around and zoom in so you can kind of see a little bit. The, it's a single disc on here, and you can see the wheel. That's the gauge wheel running there on the side of it. And back out. If I buy another tractor, I will keep this one. This will turn into my hand tractor. Or my drilling tractor, and I'll I'll buy a big one to pull my planter with. Um, and I like that auger a lot because, like today, we had to put 50 bags of the seed in. Today we had to put 50 bags of the seed in, and then we had to tote them all up that platform, you know, back there on the back. That would have like killed us, but there was only two of us loading it, and it took us about 10 minutes to dump all the seed in and we barely broke a sweat when we were doing that today. That was nice, setting the pallet right next to that auger and just dumping them in the auger. See you later, Brad. Um, 
the 71 and the 72 series and I'm gonna throw out the 89 series they're both bolt they're all bulletproof tractors um, I know there's just different comfort features on the newer ones that aren't on the older ones I think the 71s you might have had to be careful with them I think the rear ends had a little problems on the early ones but I'm not hundred percent sure um, we got a 7150 um, that thing's a horse this tractor's been turned up, so I don't even know how many horse it is, but I'm gonna get it dynoed here soon. Yeah, there's no joke about climbing with the bakes. That would have that would have been rough. Uh, they're, they're, all the rye bales are stacked in the middle. I had a neighbor, um, the neighbor that I done the rye bales that I made the video baling, the first one. Um, he actually came over and stole my tractor my dad's tractor I guess with the bale fork on and he was bored so he decided to go help me stack and then I came home he's like oh I, I decided to stack the other field too I'll probably go a couple more rounds and I'm gonna probably quit recording my hands getting tired yeah there's a uh, reading the comments here yeah versatile the it was turned up when I bought it and I've actually turned it up a little since I've owned it so I'm not sure how many how much horsepower this tractor's got but it's got it's got more than 155 like it's supposed to. It's probably close to 200, if not over 200. We will we will find out sooner or later, I guess. Yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit of how you can see it. Um, we normally don't bale any corn stalks here. I have baled corn stalks for other people though. Then my windows are dirty. Uh, there's a cover on the fuel pump a little square cover down there on the fuel pump on the side of the motor and uh, There's a little screw in there. You just turn it. It's all mechanical Now that'd be pretty cool David if you've done a video of that I Think this field I think there's enough moisture. I think it'll germinate but some of the other ones I planted it ain't gonna germinate I'm gonna hopefully get a video of all the no-till fields next to the conventional till tilled fields. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You just gotta be careful how much you turn it up because you can ruin things. The bump. You can ruin things by doing that. Um, there are a lot of rocks in this field actually, over on well, not this part of the field. I picked the part of the field that wasn't rocky to be on the phone. See you later, Versatile. I'm going to end it here pretty soon anyhow. Trying to show you guys how sharp you can turn. Or how sharp I do turn. I had to slow down to do that. Yes, we, hate, we can hate the ditches and we normally do. I don't like cutting ditches or baling ditches. A couple years ago I broke out my back window baling a road ditch. I baled it through a rock. Yep, definitely a sunset. Um, this is Easy Pilot. 
and it's a CFX 750 that's controlling the Easy Pilot. See you later, the farmer. See you on there. If I can hold it steady enough. How many acres? And then uh, this is the 45 acre field or 40 acre field, and I've done 20 of it, so I'm halfway done. But I'm gonna end it here. It's getting dark, and I better start watching better what I'm doing. Um, so I've been farmer. I know you're still here. Just whenever you want to get a hold of me, get a hold of me. I'm normally out in the field, so not too hard to get a hold of. We'll uh, we'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate everyone watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Yep. We'll see you guys.